A pleasure to me all at last. And now for HJN Season 3's very own Tiny Diecast Fury, I'm especially happy to showcase my own amazing classic known as GT Racer. Well, yet another model gone down to the floor, but hey, I mean, at least for something that's over 30 years old, I guess you can't really expect a whole lot out of it. This is yet another one of those heavyweights, where it does have a metal body and a metal base. But hey, with this sort of natural gold color scheme on it, with the sort of good metallic finish, how could you go wrong by any means? For something like this that happens to bear the likes of most cars that were around from way back in the day, racers that sure were modified in this sort of aspect to showcase some amazing driving skills, handling, speed, aerodynamics, stability, and whatnot. Dual exhaust, a big spoiler, a nice angled front end, which certainly gives that point at the very end and a lot of other things that you can see on this exact model sponsorships and whatnot sure do come together to make this a nice valuable collector's piece and i actually was able to get this exact one for a pretty decent deal but at least for 1989 that's probably what you've got to expect you can't really get too much value out of certain models out there despite their age of course if they were in brand new packaging that'd be a whole different story a good majority of models i bought have come in their own original packaging and so I feel like I've ruined the value of some of them just by opening them up but what can I say I'm a collector who also actually does stuff all the time even and what I'm doing right now is I'm simply showcasing every single piece of my collection here on the channel and now that pretty much will do so if you want to see more, go down on my channel, then be sure to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on all kinds of social media that I have, and stay on the Hollywood side.